Mira todo el pasillo de Hanny, tú sabes, los dibujos de que están medio raros. this place none of them are really friendly and they definitely don't want to be on camera it's a fetal pig is oh it, is this the book of the school yeah good find bro is that a turtle yo what the hell this place is unbelievable the congratulations sign is still up on here in the hallway guys We are in by far one of the best abandoned high schools I have ever been in ever. And I've been exploring for the last like, my God, like 13 years now. Um, so I'll get right up into it. Warren Harding High School is a public high school in Bridgeport, Connecticut that opened its doors to students on September 9th, 1925, after its cornerstone was laid on May 10th, 1924. The school was named in honor of Warren G. Harding, the 29th President of the United States, who passed away shortly before the construction began. Designed by C. Wellington Walker, the original school featured elegant Georgian-style architecture and striking Greek columns. The school was in operation for 93 years, producing a few NBA basketball players despite ranking in the bottom 50% of all schools in Connecticut for overall test scores. In 2018, a new school was built on a former General Electric factory site, costing $107 million. This is more than just another high school. Take a look around, and it's hard not to be dazzled by this $107 million gem of the Bridgeport Public School System. And what's crazy is you still see signs that says, Congratulations, seniors of 2018, still plastered all over the walls. As soon as they graduated, this place shut down for good. Now, what's interesting and some fun facts about this place is five athletes that are actually kind of well known to this day graduated from this high school. And what's even crazier is this is the worst school in the state. So when it was built in 1920, um, they never updated it. Whatever you see here is still from the 1920s, but it's just crazy to see how everything is so preserved like a time capsule, though it's not that old. It is wild. Anyways, when I do abandoned places, what I look for the most is like preservedness. Something that really goes with the history and what we know about the place. So to just right up here and see the sign just freaks me out. And it's so cool. It's very iconic. But look at all the lockers are still like, like intact. Nothing's been broken. Nothing's been really salvaged. It's just all here. I mean, I, there is so much to explore and I have so little time. You don't want to be here when it gets dark. Uh, I hate to say it, but we are really actually in the worst town in this state. And I mean that, I think, in my opinion, so. And it's only going to get better. Watch when we get to the theater. Watch when we get inside the science ret labs. It's going to get crazy. Uh, we're, I'm also not here alone. I'm with a few people, but we'll get to them as we explore. Oh, the library, by the way, you'll see. All right. Every desk is still here, all their books. I mean, it's generally a time capsule school. Now, one thing I do want to point out is scrappers have now found out about this place. So the scrappers are coming in here and stealing whatever kind of copper or pipe they find. So hopefully don't bump into any of them. None of them are really friendly and they definitely don't want to be on camera. And check right here, look at this. You know, congrats. Right there, you got the sign, congrats grad, 2018, the sign, everything, I'm saying. Do you think he's trying to rob us or? I don't know, it's, it's one person. Oh, <laughs> Look at him tiptoeing. A sketch. So I think he's probably. He's right around the corner right now. It's a bad place to be. Four of us, one of them. Yeah, if he has a weapon, we're dead, but if he doesn't, we're fine. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, I mean, I wanna, I'm gonna explore this place, but if someone's gonna f it up, I don't know. You think he's, uh, maybe he's just like a homeless guy and he's kind of freaked out that we're here. 
if we think maybe he's a scrapper. So if that point is, most homeless people would never tiptoe. That's the thing. <laughs> that will stop him. <laughs> so, scrap. I think it's the blinds again. Yeah, no. You're a scrapper. We can hear it down there. Let's go. I'll shut my light off if it is that. Yeah, see how it's blinds. Well, that explains a lot, but... He still has the people and we have the footage to prove it. And we yeah. were here in the banks. They, there's someone here still. Yeah, I smell the electric too, like yeah. the electric. He's just like tiptoeing around us every time. Dude, even this hallway though, Jesus. You can see how the courtyard looks. All overgrown now. Now look at this Meryl. It's MLK, he's hanging out. It's really cool. Now in the science lab, there's about 10 different rooms here in this section. And it's cool because they literally label it the science section. So you would come up here and they had their own little section here. And each section is different. I seen like law students section, um, an entertainment section, the arts and crafts section. So it's really cool how they label them. And this is such a big school, by the way. But you got like about 10 rooms here. I'm gonna start off in this one, but there's still a bunch of them as you go. But dude, Check out, even right here, this ain't even the craziest room. Don't, this is nothing compared to what's here. We're gonna keep going. I don't know, what What does it say? A pig fetus liver. <laughs> Whoa. Right there. Well, now you know what it looks like. Got all the desks lined up. I wonder if they made all the kids like stack them up before they all left. Wow, this one's really intact here. Got a lot of, uh, <laughs> explorers names on the walls that they tagged who's been here before and I don't know I kind of like did not do great in school I still graduated but I just sucked I hated it it was boring to me I didn't like it and I think now that I'm older I would love to I would have loved to go back and restart it <laughs> you're gonna scare me so I showed you first uh, <laughs> yeah there's a really cool uh, classroom up here I want to show you guys so you can't trust anyone out here. They're all trying to scare each other. Steve Ronan with us today. I don't know if, oh wait, everyone's here. They know each other. Forgot. Oh wait, we got Chris here too, right? Okay, everyone's trying to start the class today. I am. I'm always late for class, man. That's, I was always late for class. I'm a tardy. You're tardy, bro. Aw, dang. Imagine Chris actually teaching class. That would be insane. Yeah, but look at this, guys. This frogs are crazy, right? Yeah, they're all dried out. They almost like beef jerky now. She eat it. Nah. Why not? The hell was that? I was making a lot of noise. Oh well, just keep exploring. Damn. Well, we're gonna keep going. Either way, you got some frogs still left here. Some blue stuff. All right, yo, drink that blue stuff, guys. Someone. Someone drink the blue. What are you doing? Why is there a frog in your hand? I'm just showing you for the camera. Okay. Anyways. Yo, kiss a frog. What do I get? Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I gotta get a reward for that. I just I kiss a kid, frog for nothing, bro. What will you kiss? All right, ready? You gotta kiss it? Nope. <laughs> oh, kiss, Mason kiss each other. Oh, that's cute. There you go. Okay. Scrapper. He's a scrapper. I'm not too worried about it anymore. Because he would have wanted to f*** us up by now. So he's doing his thing, we're doing our thing. I mean, we have to go at least scope him out, right? And sh see what's going on later. Hopefully. 
I mean, that's what the viewers want. The viewers are like, wow, I don't care if you guys die. I want to know what's popping down there. The viewers want a showdown. Yes, yeah. Well, we got to give the people what they want, right? Let's go. Let's All right. Arm up. Yo. <laughs> Man, see, this is what they were dealing with. These old laptops. Damn. Someone chopped up the frogs. That's nasty. What is this? I got a bad feeling about this. A formaldehyde animal handling used tip. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a fetal pig. Oh! It's literally in there. It is. Oh my god. That's actually insane. I've never seen this before. It was never opened. I've never seen this in school. <laughs> Have you? Uh, no, I never dissected a fetal pig. Usually, I did a frog, but man, not this. Well, comments below, did anyone in high school even see any of this? Because I've never did it at my high school. Yeah. You can see the sun shining right through here, but again, this is insane. So here's the, the in-between point, so where all the chemicals and most things are stored. As you can see, it's flooded with stuff. But if you go on this side, that's the other, uh, this is the other science lab. But look at that. It's like a devil mug there. I'm assuming this must have been from the arts and crafts section. Now, we haven't seen that yet, so we gotta find that. But look at it definitely is. Someone did like this devil horn thing over here. This is all like windy and twizzly. It's really epic. And then behind. Oh my god, it is on brand. Talk about on brand, guys. This is haunted on the back. Hashtag haunted. This is definitely the, the devil jar. Why do I want this? <laughs> Would you, is that a claw? I don't know. Like a crab claw? Lobster. Actually, I don't know what that is. Is that like a dried touch it, yeah? I think it's probably the pigs. Oh, maybe. It didn't smell like anything. Mm. Look at this over here, bro. It's like science projects everywhere. I know. Yo, you think the water works? Nah. Nah, I ain't, nah. <laughs> so on this door in the science lab, you know, I'm gonna blur their faces, but you can see like the children that went into this very exact classroom lined up here. So you can see some kind of like before and after pictures. One thing is you can see right here, you can see that B. And over here, that's the B, so you can indicate that this is the same classroom. And it's always eerie when you see people line up here, you've seen before and after shots. Like this is this is it. This is what it used to, you know, what used to go down here, what used to happen. It's really creepy to me. So do you guys remember the game Outlast 2? I think it was two. And like you go down the spooky hallway and all the all the lockers started opening up. I don't know if you guys remember. But I, I, that's what I always remember when I walk these schools, is that moment in the game, because that scared me to Someone ripped out all the copper and everything, the switches. And right here too, that indicates there is a scrapper probably downstairs. That's all blasted open. Guess everyone's done. Oh, they're in here. Whoa. A whole award smashed on the ground. Josh, you gotta come here and check this out. All right. I was wondering why you guys were so quiet. I was like, where'd they go? I'm like about to call you guys. Oh. The Holy Grail? Yeah. Pretty neat. Yo, check out this too. What is that? A sh oh, a clam. Yeah. A liquidized clam. Look at this. Probably the craziest thing here. Is that a turtle? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That is crazy. I've never seen any of this stuff in abandoned places. This, cool. this is, yeah, this came from Tennessee, a turtle. Fetus, the pig fetus. Oh, someone opened them up? No, they're already used. They were never taken out. Whoa! It's all in the biohazard bag. Yo, what the hell? I mean, hey, this can't get demonetized. This is literally school and you Science. learn. It's educational. It is. It definitely is. I have, oh my Are you God. Are sure about that? I don't know. Whoa, I'm not showing that. I'm not, that's the monetization. I cannot show you what we just seen. 
All right, anyways, over here, this is, yeah, so wait, you said, yeah, this was already still here. They never thrown it out? Never. It's a well, biohazard for sure. It is a biohazard. I wonder why they just left them here. Because check out this. The biohazard bag. Is that a, oh, the, I, like learning CPR? Yeah, it's like a baby. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty crazy. We're getting closer to the principal's office because I just found the assistant's principal's office. So the main principal's office has got to be somewhere. Maybe in there? That might be a school. Well, they had a big trophy. Massive. Here we go, main office. Principal's office is always in the main office. Let's see. Well, we're in. Whoa. Damn. This is awesome. A meeting board. I like this. Not all who wander are lost. Oh, and look what we found here. The safe. Ah, oh, no one will never get in here. That is locked up for good. That's cool though. But look at the light shining in here, the colors. It is really amazing. Their flag. And here's what's left of this place. Eventually this is gonna come down. It's crazy because my middle school is still standing in my town. What the hell happened here? All paint, everyone think, everything's trashed here. Holy crap. For the pipes. I mean, look at this hallway though. Jesus. So we keep moving. Yeah, we have to. Well, now we can all be back on the floor with a guy. Well, you guys seen the guy on. Health and Environmental Science Academy is now complete. We did the quest. Oh, dude, check this out. Look, this is actual blood. There's blood. Actual blood. That's Drip. That's a good sign. Someone's bleeding bad. Drip. I guess we should follow him. Drip. Follow the blood trail. Yeah, going, it's going somewhere. Unless it's not blood, but it really does look like a blood. Whoa. Look, the blood though, it's still dripping. It's dripping here. You're dripping. You're dripped. You're dripped out. You're welcome. Whoa, someone had a lot of time on their hands. This is the hallway I started my intro on. And then over here, someone wants to take all the desks out. For what? Whoa. So this is now we're in actual classrooms. No more uh, genres. I generally don't need to go so hard on classrooms. Y'all know what a classroom look like. <laughs> so I rather just do the main things that we need to see while we keep moving. But for real, who the hell threw all these desks out? and rip this door apart, jeez. <laughs> All right, let's go see. Wow. Well, either way, check out this main hallway. The trees have so overgrown the courtyard. Now I know there's a library here. I'm trying to find it. It should be on one of these right sides. And the library is actually one of the coolest libraries ever. The books are still there. Uh, everything's pretty intact for the most part. Whoa. A lot of art decorations here. This. What is this, the art room? Hey, this is where the guy made the devil jar. He has some other clay pots right there. Let's go check them out. A lot of lighting in this room too. It looks really cool. Makes sense that this was the art section though. The whole thing's full of art. Even right here. 
I like this. I'm gonna go in really quick. Look at this, how wide it opens up. It's like they definitely planned it to show that for all the natural lighting to come in. Really came out good. Yeah, here, some more of the pots. Dude, this one ain't even that bad either. They must have made them during Halloween because look how creepy these are too. What does that say? Rip to the dead. Rip to the dead. That is epic. I want to make one myself too. These are cool. You know what some of these remind me of? The Jar of Greed from the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yu -Oh, yeah. Yep, the Jar of Greed. That yeah, see? Kind of looked like Steve's mom right here, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> this, I've never made clay or had any of this in my art class. This is epic. Yep. If I seen this school, on an abandoned video, but not the name, I would assume this was Philly by like this vibe or New York somewhere. Yeah. All right, so this layout is really weird, but the whole school is like a big square, but within the square is like another square and you have the courtyard on each side. We just did a full loop. We were able to get them pretty much everything on these floors. Now over here should be the library. And then on the other side will be the theater. Well, here we go. Wow. Oh my God. This is so weird to see. Wow, look up. Look at that. It's massive. I mean, the books are everywhere. And you wanna know something, even, even at my old middle school, everything was still inside because when they had a new school they gave out everything no one wanted to even look at the old stuff that was here they had new everything books equipment you name it ready for the overview boom everything and check out the, look at the ceilings it's cool it's a very old, like colonial, I'm getting vibes here. Colonial layouts. And we are right in the city, like I said. You can see everything. It's, <laughs> it's pretty nuts, pretty wild. Um, walking down here, this is actually really cool because you can only imagine when this place was active in its prime, how cool it looked. Because you have all the desks and computers that would have been lined up in the monitors. Almost looks like an office. Like a little office cubicle layout. Just to give you an idea of what the outside looks like. Alright, so what would you just say? I had to refilm so, it for the cam. So we heard the same staircase. We saw them last. Uh -huh. We just heard power tools. Okay. So they're 100% downstairs. We're still on the third floor. Yep. So we have to go down soon. So I think right. we're going to run into them. I, hope, I mean, I hope, but I don't hope. Actually, no. Why would I want to hope that? <laughs> You guys just want to see them, that's why. Well, me and my boy Devin here is going to go film the auditorium. Okay. So you guys have fun here. All right. Black auditorium. I can already see like some kind of sounding where the sound travels up there. And this place was built in the 1920s, so it's got a pretty old, pretty cool <laughs> theater. old theater. You don't find these in many um, schools these days. Definitely double decker, like you don't see that. My 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 middle school had this, bro. Did yours? No, my middle school did not have an auditorium like this at all. Yeah, I kinda grew up with this. Even my bleachers are like old wooden. These are even nicer than mine. Really? Yeah. It's like taking me back memories just watching like plays or announcements or anything would be here. It's just really cool. Give a huge thumbs up and subscribe. You know, we're going hard out here. We might die in this the next floor down below. So Make sure you thumbs up this, subscribe, share, support, come on. You're not going to get this content anywhere else. Man, there's nothing here. Just the old lights. 
and they would heat up so hard and get like super hot and that's why they had to make them this big with a heater. I mean a, a heat sink or a cooler. What's this bro? I don't know, it's really spooky. It has that seal <laughs> Massive. I hear echo. What, I said how many people can fit? So I don't even have to count the seats because apparently only 300 people. Damn, you were off, here. bro, by a lot. I know. I thought that was in According to this, it's 300. Wait, what is it? That's the field out there. They're out there playing football. Oh. The 30s. Yeah, good find, bro. What are the helmets? That's, yeah, that's literally this field. This is our stuff. Right here, what we're in. That's awesome, bro. Look, donkey proves good mascot. <laughs> so their uh, mascot was a donkey? I guess so. A lot of people must have hated it. Oh, the field. that's cool. Oh, name. you seen this, right? Is this the book of the school? Or is this yeah. not it? Huh. Damn, they had everything here. Baseball, golf, tennis, and track. It's their first schedule. 1928. 1920. That is. Why would they leave this behind? It's history, man. But it's years and years and years of history. Yeah. Oh my god, come on, that's sick. Harding score, which didn't count. Gotta zoom in on that. That's awesome. A wedding picture. The basketball. All around guy. <laughs> wow, 32 to zero. That's what the score was. These pictures are really cool. Oh, wasn't there a famous cartoonist from here? There was, yeah. I wonder if this is from them. Might be, some of their best work is in here. So I know there was five like sports athletes that were you know, really famous here. Now you said there's even a cartoonist? There was a cartoonist, I believe in the 1950s, he was a famous cartoonist for Disney at the time. Wow. I know he did stuff with Pinocchio and a couple other things I'm not remembering right, right now. But, but that's yeah. cool. He was also an alumni of this uh, school we're in today, yeah. And maybe part of it could have been the comic we've seen, but regardless, that is still really cool. But to know how this place in the town just turned to like trash is just beyond me. I don't even know how, that's, how that even happened. Oh, this is it, guys. Make or break. All right, here we go. Well, it looks f***ed up here. It looks f***ed up. I'll, I'll protect you guys. Uh huh. No man's land now. Jeez, everything sounds lo like loud when you're alarmed. <laughs> Can't open it. Uh, oh, dude, look, you're like deadly delicious. What? They have their own deli down here? Oh, this is cafeteria. Yep. Dude, their whole place was so cool. Hot spot, the streets calf, the snack shack. I mean, they're going for like a Louisiana kind of like thing here with the colors.
Bro. I love that sign, right? That is the coolest sign. That would light up all neon and stuff. The oh, yeah, burger it bar? It was neon. Oh, I see. Yeah. We're going like, this sign could have been like, what, from the 90s, 80s? It's so sick. Oh, you would enter here. Oh. It's so weird how the school was done too. It's all in groups. You know, they, they labeled everything. The art had their own hallway. Their science lab had their own science lab hallway. The, the burger bar has its own little section. The sh you know what I mean? It's all done in sections. Smells like burgers still. Yeah, but you know what? The fact that you even see an iPad still sitting there is pretty dang cool. Is that an iPod? iPad just sitting there? Yeah. I'm trying to get glass in my hand, but... That's the first time I've ever found an iPad in a band this. And it's not, like, stolen. Grade 9. So, fun fact, if you guys care about my old life, the Deli Delicious, this is where I would be. Every single lunch I had was always getting an Italian grinder with everything on it. I mean, stacked with jalapenos, pepperonis, everything. I would say one of everything, please. And they would always give me extra because I would ask. And I would just eat fat sandwiches every single like time. And I would even dip it, some reason, in ketchup. Have any of you guys done that? Like, even with my pizza, it's in ketchup. And a lot of people from my town, we would all do it. And it's stuck with me ever since, man. I can't even, I don't know how to describe it, but... You know, they got their food, whatever. This was their other eating area. Well, you never did pizza ketchup? No. Come on. I didn't see this. The whole piano's on this side. I'm confused. Am I in a new wing just because I crossed over to the other side? Like, I don't remember seeing any of this. I don't even, dude, someone cut a hole through the entire thing. whole school was in that freaking bucket. Oh, well, we found something here though. This maybe will lead into auditorium, you think? Okay, it smells a little bit like electric, like, like tools are being used. Yeah. This is a shop. Yeah, this is all the woodworking class. I mean, we might be able to build a shelf here. Yeah, we could build something. Start over. Shoot at it. Bro, someone made a whole ass sh uh, shelf. I never brought it. Never yeah. Finished it. They're gonna make the whole cabinet for it. Got some unfinished cabinets here. Yeah, look at that. Television studio here inside the school. Yo, what? Dude. What? This is a whole, they had a whole... They had like some NBC stuff going on. They, really <laughs> did. they had a whole setup for like a... I don't even know. Like a company and everything. Oh, there's tripods too? Keyboards? TVs. Big TVs. What is this? Aerodyne? What is this? Division for learning labs. And then right up above it is this. A lot of flat screen old monitors. What is this? Looks like it was like an old spy lab. Everything got ransacked. They, they ditched the hard drives and they ran out. I played way too many video games. Studio A. the speakers right there dude this is awesome I mean I don't know what I'm doing I'm just touching the buttons last but not least explorers we entered the gym going full bright it is dark in here but we had to save this for last this was the most Probably important part in the prized possession of this school, going by their history, they had over five, if not more, pretty famous athletes, and they really cared about their sports. 
you know, their basketball, their football, everything. If anything, all their money was pumped into this. Dude. State champs, 88, 83, 84, 85. Yo, 84, 85, 86, 87. 87. Four years running, they were the state champs here. Boys basketball did amazing, slayed it. I'm just gonna give you guys a hint. During those years, there was an NBA, a future NBA player that was in this high school. So sick. So those are some of these yeah. The gym's not even that bad still for being so abandoned. I mean, well, actually, I only spent four years, but places are usually messed up by now. Oh, look at this. The whole symbol. Just make it out. That's cool. Yeah. Before we head right outside and show you their track, there is a, a spot in the locker room where the coaches would kind of show off their plays and probably, you know, their secrets on what's next and what to do. So we're going to go show you that right now. Holy crap. It's stripped now, but the only way you know it's a locker room is because it still has a... Yeah. Dang, so they had their plays right here. That's kind of sick, bro. Is this where we needed to go? Yep, this is it. Look at this. Oh, bro, look at their football. The whole football field's messed up. Their goal to win is half broken, their pole. Holy crap. Look at the track. It's all overgrown. There's weeds growing through it. And at one point, remember when this was going on, you can see the before pictures that we showed you that was on the, the newspapers. But if you look up, this is their scoreboard. It was probably redone not that long ago. It looks like a kind of like a newer one. You've seen the school. Yeah, so the school is even goes back there. As you can see, we were up in there. I don't know who put these here, but there are massive tires like monster trucks just sitting out here too and last but not least the bleachers check some of these out they're not even made out of plastic or anything it's all like these old wood ones Ugh. and the some of them are like actually broken but yeah sunset's coming probably gonna get some food with Devin and uh, Chris and Steve so it's been a really good video. One thing I like to do, and I said this a few times, but I love to get with a group of friends after an explore, we all kind of get together and just get the best food of our lives and just hang and chill. Some of my best stuff, because this whole urbex and hobby abandoned is always about, you know, the history and the love and exploring and all that, but it's also about like hanging out and chilling. So it's, it's, it's just good to go get some good food after, especially when everyone's super hungry because they're, they're running around, they're the thrill, the energy, it is a vibe. I've been doing this for so long, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully the wind's not screwing this up right now, but we're gonna end this here, guys. Uh, check out all my links in the description down below. If you wanna see any of Devin's, uh, Chris's, or Steve's, their link in the description down below. Uh, check out the merch, everything. Riseabove.shop, get it. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching. So right on the side of the school is this view. Bandos, all trap houses. So, I mean, it's, it's messy here. But then look at the school. Look how massive this school is. And what Devin said, that makes a good point. If the city never cut the power to the school, all the scrappers wouldn't be able to use their tools to get their metal out. Yo, we're walking back to the car, but look at this. What the hell is going on? 